Hey guys, Honey was on 3 and today I got a brand new on the channel. So I just made a 12 minute long video on how to do the rainbow effect in Blender. But um, I forgot to add audio to it. So that was very bad. So um, I'll show you right now. Let me just open the Blend file up. So I made a video on my 100 motion effects channel. And why you should get um, Blender 2.78. Like the newer version that renders so much faster. So, I'll explain to you guys what I did. So, make sure to have this over here 1920 by 1080 or whatever you, you prefer. And I have mine at 24 frames per second. I have it saved to my desktop under XVID and PEG4. And if you, add, if you add audio, audio codex MP3. And then, delete the default cube and light. And then go to 1 and control alt 0 to bring the camera in different view. And then I added three different text. And then for this one, I just made, I just extruded it a little bit more out. So yeah, that's how you got the text like that. And I'm just gonna select all three of them and slide it up. There you go. Now we got that. But uh, shouldn't have done that. Set it down. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so, now, um, if you saw my latest rainbow template, you can get the stars out of it, so here's the stars, select it, it's, it's gonna be in the original scene, make sure under shading, you have it selected as transparent, click Control c add my template, and then go Control b in here, as, in the, in the original scene, like, just regular scene right here. Under shading is transparent. Make sure you just don't blender under. And then for this like cloudy background smoke, I had to go into smoke. I used a sharp attacks Lightroom. Um, so I pasted it in here. And then I took the scene. I selected the camera. I clicked Control L. I wrote the scene smoke. And then in smoke, <laughs> make sure under shading is sky. And that's what basic scene and then go into compositing now for this example I'm just delete all these to show you how I did it this is not all the ones you used I was showing you extra effects to use which sucked because now I can't get it back but now I'm gonna add so you just check use nodes off and then the first thing you're gonna get excuse me the first thing you're gonna get is these two in right here you're gonna get that one and that one. Oh, nope. This one. So when you, when you click check use nodes, these two are already be connected. And I'm gonna spread them out. Don't be confused or anything if it's the first time using these. Now make sure to render layer shift D. So if you didn't catch that, click Shift D to duplicate it. I'm gonna drag it down here, and I'm gonna change it from that scene to smoke. Um, so the smoke, um, and smoke the smoke scene, that one, and this regular scene right here. So we'll get both of them. Add color alpha over. If, if yours doesn't look like mine, it's because you don't have the upgraded version. It's you. You may have 2.77. I recently just did mine a few days ago to 2.78. So basically the same, just a few extra added features that we won't be using in this video. Like, I don't really use extra features. So now you guys have alpha over. Make sure to connect it in between both of these. Just by doing that is holding it and then until it lights up yellow and just connect it, but you can't do that to render layer. So then click on this yellow one, drag it to the top. And this one will automatically go to the bottom, just like that. And then you can click render image to see how it looks down here. It's a lot faster render, but uh, I don't know why. 
like in the video it's like a lot slower render so all right so that's what the scene looks like might make these stars a little bit bigger actually a lot bigger Every time I talk in the microphone, my voice sounds a lot deeper. But I don't know why, but I keep voice tracking. They go a lot less of stars. And then here's the cloudy scene, which is this one right here, rendering out. So yeah, that looks a lot better. Now to add black bars, that's very, very simple. Click add metal box mask. Don't know if that's pronouncing that right. Now you can do like one, one point, anything like any, basically any one over here. So I did one point one, so that extra in case they some went wrong. Like this zero point four. Now if you were to connect this into that, it would be white and black. But if you figured out how to not do that, it would render in all black and white. So to make sure that doesn't happen, add a color um, mix node. it to multiply and then connect it into the um, box mask I can get a good point there you go now you have black bars now to animate it real simple just make it start at zero click um, I on your keyboard maybe you go to like frame 30 over here and then make it 0 0.4 and click I again and then it would animate it up and stuff but that's not the point so let's drag this freaking up. Let's drag that over there. Let's click Shift D, the mix node. It's like we're um see this is what I was talking about. It was light up yellow. Click just like right click on it, like regular regularly click. Or on automatically be connected. Just click add input image. Click open. So if it's freezing up, I have no idea why. It didn't when I made the other video. So, I'm gonna go on my blender texture. Click that right there to see the images. Now, as you can see right here, it says gradient. Look up gradient images on YouTube, or not YouTube, Google. And make sure that I have a like green, blue, yellow, orange, and pink in it. Um, it only took me like less than five seconds to find this exact image. So, double click on that. The .jpg file. To wait for it to load up. Connect it into the mix node, and it'll look like that. If you if you um just add, basically added this, you get that. So to get rid of that, make sure it's color, <laughs> color, and it'll look like that. To make, but to make it look better, click Shift D. And then make this one shift D to copy the mix node again and the image again. And you can make that one like a hue. See how that looks. Then you can make that one just want to multiply. Just kind of um, mix it this one around and see which one you like better. Um, and that one's a little dark. So you can do overlay as well. Let's see how this one looks. This one looks a lot better. I think you see it kind of gets in the text too. I'm going to make this blue. Because um, last example, last video. I was just make it show you guys how to make basic text. But just make. Um, oh yeah, I left out a very important part. If you are using Blender Render. Um, these two would already be default. I think it would be default gray. But if you go into rendered view, it would be black. So I change it to black anyways. To actually see what it looks like in this blue if you don't have any lighting at all whatsoever in the scene which i don't just to save time go to the materials and then um check shadeless off right there make sure shield shield shade list is off and i'll make it a lot better So yeah, that's the scene. That's basically how you guys do it. Thanks for watching, guys.